video. What up guys, today is Monday here in Douala, we are somewhere in Bonaprizo. We are on our way right now to Kribi. We're heading to Kribi to spend, excuse me, to spend a couple of days out there, uh, just chilling, being on the beach, you know, getting that beach vibe in. Um, we're super excited to be doing that just because of the fact that we've been really cooked up in Douala and it's been such a family oriented uh, process with us since we came here and so we are now finally going somewhere where we can let our head down a little bit chill do something a bit fun and just let loose so yeah we are actually heading to Caribbean creepy right now and um, of course my favorite older cousin Tom is making it all happen today all right so shout out to Tom the best big brother ever has taken so good care of us while we've been in Cameroon and we are forever grateful for that and of course I got my queen in the back Yeah, so we're on our way on in route to uh, Kribi and when we get to Kribi of course I'm gonna film a lot of stuff including do some uh, do, uh, including some videography and some droning so y'all be on the lookout for that and of course I will be dropping everything that I film right on this video so y'all stay posted and as usual y'all are invited let's go wow he was carrying a mattress on his head with sunglasses <laughs> a whole mattress <laughs> Where is this i guy? cannot it's, believe yeah. it Do you have this white? Oh, yeah. A machine. No, no, oh, okay. Did I read that? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. La technology. Oh, yes. This is what I need. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Okay. Yeah. Right. What's up, what's up guys? We are total right now in somewhere in Douala and we're getting coffee. I'm actually getting espresso here and my wife is getting, what are you getting baby? Vanilla cappuccino. And she's getting the vanilla cappuccino. And we have uh, Madame Key. Christine. Madame Christine. Hey, what's up, Peking, monsieur? All right, Monsieur Baka and Madame Christine is on Vermont Gentil and they are super, super nice serving us some coffee and we're gonna be on our way to uh creepy all right so pit stop coffee some water and then we're gonna head on to creepy all right mm. 
probably look the same. Non, euh, euh, ça, euh, ça va, ça va. Toi, s'il vous plaît. Merci. So she is about to make my espresso right now. And she is super cool, y'all. She is cool, cool, cool. She's smiling while I'm making my espresso. And I can appreciate that. So it is really hot right now in Cameroon, but we are enjoying today. It's a good start to the day. It's a good start to the morning. And Mm. Mm. Non, c'est bon, hein? Oui, c'est bon. Mm. Uh, ooh, c'est bon. So, this is my espresso. It's really good, actually. It's going to keep me uh, alert and awake for the three hour journey that we're about to enjoy. So, and. After this, we'll be on our way. Cheers. One machine, yeah. And on an eye. I want to back with very badly. But one machine. One So, yeah. So, okay, there's this, you have to give the money by hand. Ours is like, obviously, it's a machine. in front is one of the agency bosses the agency yes. no it's like a like you know like a, you know how we have greyhound oh. yeah it's a greyhound that goes back and forth for transportation. Yes, transportation you have the regular ones you have the vips yeah is like the a more agency? souped up greyhound So after two hours on the road and passing two toll gates, we finally, finally arrived in Kribi.
Hey, what up, guys? What up, what up, what up? We just made it here in Kribi. Nous sommes venus au Kribi. Donc, on est arrivé. Et on est là. We're here. All right. This is Kribi. Um, I wouldn't say it's an island necessarily. It's like a little beach town. Uh, about four hours away from Douala. So we wanted something that we could just kind of get away, isolate ourselves and, you know, have a bit of fun. Due to the fact that since we got here a week ago, it's been nothing but work, work. Not necessarily work uh, from my job situation, but so more so family oriented stuff that we had to do and it just got really, 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 really exhausting. And so we decided to take some time off, a couple of days and come out here on the beach and just have an isolated, peaceful, quiet, one-on-one -on -one time with my wife. So we just got here about 30 minutes ago. I checked in and we are living or staying rather in a little villa right here called Makor. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Makore? Makor. I don't know. So we're in this little nice villa right here and it looks pretty dope y'all. It is beautiful. It is clean, spacious, king size bed, um, has a lot of carvings and it has such character to it, right? Such character and we love it. We love it. And as usual in Cameroon during the dry season, it is bloody hot in here. I hot out here I mean it has to be about 89 degrees right now I'm sweaty muggy sticky all of the above basically um, it is pretty hot and muggy uh, and humid but um so the plan right now uh, is for me to get in here do a little tour of the spot so y'all can see what we're rocking with you know what i'm saying Look at this. Nothing but natural vegetation. Beautiful, natural trees, gardens. And that's our villa right there. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right? Gorgeous. So if you're ever in Creepy and you're looking for a spot for lodging, even for a couple of days, even for a day, Ilomba Hotel is the place to go. Y'all definitely check this out. All right. Um, of course, as usual, you guys are invited to roll with us. And so any detail, any little, uh, interesting points and 
things that we observe along the way, I'm dropping it on this year channel, on this year video, so that you guys can see it through my eyes, of course. No, but see, but see, you see Tommy. See, he's good at it. He's, like, he's yeah, just like, like, he's like, he's not having to worry about I love it. it. I can't. Oh, it's here. Yeah. Hey. Woo. Oh, All right. Look at the food. Look at the food. Uh, voila. Let's see, Boku. Okay, good. Thank yes. you. Then, the first bite, I'm going to let you know how it tastes. All right? Let's do this. Mm. Delicious, delicious. All right, so I'm gonna tap this real quick. And a little sauce. Take another bite, man. Mm. Mm. Let me see the fish real quick. This thing is well seasoned, well spiced, just the right amount of salt. It is really grilled to crisp. And they have this like ginger glaze thing on it that is really, really, really nice. As you can see right here, it is really nice. And it goes so well with the plantains and the rice as well. And we ordered a side of uh, mayonnaise, the Cameroonian mayonnaise to go with the fish. Bruh. This right here is where it's at. Delicious. All right? Delicious. So let's get to it. Merci. What is this? Don't say what? It's good for me. Salt. Salt? Oh, uh, Salt. I don't want diabetes. <laughs> no. Mm. Oh, never mind. Uh -huh. mm. What's going on? Jeff Price. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Look, I see you looking out the window. Leave me boy. out of it. Listen, she said, I see you looking out the window, little boy. Leave me out of it. Remember when they did the um the DoorDash? She said, look, now, nah, what department you in? Because I'm about to take this food home and feed it to my kids. I had a father that dude. He's pretty funny. He is hilarious. Hilarious. Mm, this is so good, babe. Mm. Eat some of this. Let me flip it over. Okay. You know I love mayonnaise. Ooh. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at all that glaze. Look at all that glaze. Glaze. All right, guys, we just made it back to the villa. Um, the food was delicious. <sighs> the fish was so delicious, to be honest. Like, probably one of the freshest fish I've had yet in Cameroon. Um, Cook did a great job, fantastic job. Uh, the hospitality was amazing. Given the fact that they were all Francophones, they didn't even speak English, they did a great job. Um, we are back again at, in the villa, and we're about to take a shower and retire for the night. Might go for a little walk but this video ends here for me and i'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning all right so tomorrow morning we're gonna get up and get right back to it all right so y'all stay safe stay positive i'm out
make ten in a week. I can make ten in a day. I'ma wake up on the beach. I'ma wake up in the air. I know been with late. I might fly to a lot of late. I'ma get rich on pain. I'ma get rich the same. I'ma get rich on pain. Slime me, I leave my stain. Bad little bitty keep brain. So my wrist on rain. Ran up out the bank like it's a robbery. Take care of my mommy. I know she proud of me. Yeah. I want everybody. Bonjour, good morning everybody. Today is our second day here in Kribi and um, it's about seven in the morning right now. So I took the liberty to hop out and do a, a bit of uh, recording. Um, I just wanted to do a quick tour of the grounds and show you guys basically the view of the grounds the entire resort uh, i think i did my best to actually capture all of that and i basically did a loop to loop all the way down to right there the beach and so today um well so today's program basically uh is we are um going to uh see so we're doing the pick me tour today at 10 o'clock. We're doing the pick me tour. So we have somebody from this uh, resort that's going to be leading us. Um, it's going to be guiding us and showing us, uh, you know, taking us to the actual river where we have to catch the boat to head over to the Pygmy village. Now, for those of you who are not aware, Pygmies are indigenous people here in Cameroon. I think we have some in, in uh, Congo, uh, but here in Cameroon, in Kribi, uh, they're predominant here in Kribi. So they are indigenous people. So I don't know much about their background, but I do remember as a kid here in Cameroon, we always talked about the Pygmies. I never seen them. I mean, I seen them on TV, but I never seen them in person. So today I get to do that with my wife and my cousin, of course. So I'm taking my entourage with me. You already know <laughs> entourage of three. <laughs> so we are going to be going to the Pikmin tour um, at 10 this morning. And then after that, we have a massage spa situation scheduled um, later on today. So we can get a little chill downtime and, you know, take care of the body a little bit. The body and the soul you know what i'm saying so yes and we are due for breakfast at nine this morning so that's why i wanted to you know hurry up and do this tour and give you and give you guys uh somewhat of a schedule of today before hopping back over to the villa and prepare myself for the tour but um I don't want to speak much on it. I would love for you guys to just see 
from my view, obviously. And um, so as we go, of course, I will be speaking in three different languages. I am a Cameroonian, of course. I speak French. Well, yeah, I do. Uh, obviously, I'm, uh, I speak English, but I also speak my regional language, which is called Pidgin. And that's, and that's something that I never actually mentioned on my uh, videos when I vlog. Uh, the fact that I am not only bilingual, but I also speak a third language, which is a, reg a West African regional language, mostly or predominantly spoken in English speaking West African countries with exception of Cameroon. So countries like Nigeria, Ghana, uh, like um, I would say um, Sierra Leone. So yes, countries like that, we do speak what we call Pidgin English, which is basically a broken down English like Patois or Creole. So we have our version and East Africans have their version. I believe South Africans have their version but don't quote me on that. So I will be speaking that when I'm talking to my cousin. And for those of you that are aware, that is called uh, code switching. So you switching back and forth. So whenever I switch over to, let's say Pigeon, I will have subtitles on this video to make sure you guys are keeping up with what is going on, what we're talking about so that nobody's confused. And obviously if I'm speaking in English, I'm sure, 90 to 100 percent of everybody that's watching this video will will understand what's going on but i will be doing some code switching back and forth when i'm communicating with my cousin or when i'm communicating with uh the locals here at least the people who speak pigeon if not then mostly i will be speaking in english or in french probably more so english to be honest so um yeah so today, that's what we are getting ready to do. And um,